it was uh, quite a combative interview and straight off the rip, really. There was no real uh, congeniality at the beginning. It was straight into a very tough question on immigration. And that took up uh, half of the 26 minute interview uh, that she had with uh, Fox News. Uh, and it was arguably uh, her worst part of the interview. Uh, there were some um, difficult questions coming from Brett Bayer, who is uh, arguably the most respected journalist at Fox News. Uh, and Kamala Harris did have to kind of stand and spin for the first uh, little bit of that interview. She then got into more comfortable territory uh, when she started uh, relying on the talking points that she's been giving at rallies and uh, interviews in recent days that uh, Donald Trump was the person to blame uh, for the lack of a strong border bill. Uh, she once again touted her line that it was a, a bipartisan bill in the Senate that got thwarted by Donald Trump because he wanted to run on an issue rather than uh, fix it. That was something that she managed to get out. Uh, uh, but there were a lot of uh, other questions uh, coming her way from Brett Bayer. And it must be said, a lot of them really were more culture war issues as opposed to uh, the, the meaty uh, sinew that you get down to when you're talking about elections. The one thing that most voters care about is the economy, and there wasn't a question about the economy. Uh, and arguably, Kamala Harris's best moment was when she started talking about Donald Trump. Um, she started talking about the threats uh, that he poses, and she also focused, as she has been in the last couple of days, on some of his comments uh, about the enemy from within when he was talking about uh, the uh, leftists uh, in the in the country. She uh, said that Donald Trump wanted to use the army uh, against people that disagree with him. Uh, and then Fox News played a clip of Donald Trump attempting to uh, explain that away that had happened earlier in the day on Fox News, uh, at which point uh, Kamala Harris then uh, took to task uh, Brett Bayer and said that that was a disingenuous clip that had been playing. That was arguably uh, her, her finest moment. Uh, I think at the end of the day, this isn't going to move the needle. It's going to be one of those things where everybody gets out of it what they want to get out of it. If you are a fan of Kamala Harris, you will say that she did very well. And if you're a fan of Donald Trump, you'd say that she um, didn't really answer some of the questions, uh, particularly on the uh, on the on the border at the beginning of the of the interview.